Hi everybody and welcome to another DIY with Suffolk Public Library. Today we are going to go on a shape scavenger hunt. First we're actually going to make our shape wands that you can look through and our magnifying glasses if you want to call them that. And then we are going to go on a little scavenger hunt. Um, I'm Miss April. Thanks for joining me today. Um, the first thing you want to do in order to make your shape wand or magnifying glass, because we're going to be a little scientists a little bit, um, is you need to cut out the shapes. So you really need to cut out the centers of the shapes, but you can hold on to the shape itself. Um, that'll be part of our scavenger hunt. You can use any sort of stick. So it can be a popsicle stick. It can be a... Um, a straw, a wooden dowel. You could even use like a spoon from your kitchen. And you need some tape and some ribbon and scissors or really any sort of craft supplies that you would like to decorate with. So I have a popsicle stick and I have a square and we're just gonna tape this on. If you want, you can use glue. Um, you would just need to let it dry a little bit if you're gonna use glue. And we're really just gonna tape both sides of it and the reason we want to do that is so that it's no longer sticky. So we put the tape on one side and then cover it up with tape on the other side so we hide the stickiness. So we've started making our, our uh, magnifying glass and then I have some ribbon here and we're just going to twist it around the um, popsicle stick. So it doesn't have to be perfect. <clears throat> Remember that the point of this is sort of to give your kids a chance to craft. So let them explore. And um, I know sometimes it's hard to let your kids be a little messy and maybe not do it perfectly, but this is really a great opportunity for them to like explore and play by themselves. So I just added a little tape to the end here so that we can wrap it around. You could add bells or beads or pom-poms, just really any craft crafting materials that you have around your house. Or they don't have to decorate at all. They can leave them plain too. That's perfectly fine. But I thought this morning we'd add a little ribbon. So once you've got it all the way wrapped around, you're just gonna tape it down. And I would say that if you do wanna use glue for this part of it, it would definitely need to dry before you go on your scavenger hunt. Um, and that's sort of one of the reasons why I'm using tape so that it will be ready for you when you're ready to go on your hunt. So there you go. We now have our square magnifying glass. I also have a rectangle. Um, I made a template for a circle and a template for a triangle as well. So once you have your magnifying glasses made, um, you're going to want to go around your house and look for different shapes. So if you're working with younger kids, like younger preschool, maybe even toddlers, I'd recommend just hiding the shapes around the house. So you've already cut these out to make your magnifying glasses, so you can just tape these around your house and tell your kids to go on a shape scavenger hunt, and they could tell you where they find the shapes. And this, the reason I say this is really great for younger kids is because the shapes actually match perfectly, so they'll be matching them like that. Also, the colors are the same too, which can be really helpful for the younger kids. If you're dealing with older kids, <clears throat> they can find things actually in your house. So a box is now a rectangle. Um, we also have a square box and a lid that's a rectangle. Um, maybe we call this a triangle. It's pretty close. It's actually a little bit closer to our rhombus. If you're working with really older kids, you're um, like third graders and up, then you can find rhombus. <laughs> um, you can also look for circles. Here's our fruit cup, which has a circle. Um, Legos make excellent squares. And cups are also really great circles. You can go even further and half of an egg is a circle, but both sides of the egg is now an oval. So really it can be as complex or easy as you want. If you wanna hide the shapes around the room, like I said, that was great for younger kids. Um, and then with your older kids, challenge them. Have them look at the table in a new way. A table is a rectangle, or maybe yours is a circle. Um, maybe yours is a square. You could even do this outside, looking for shapes that they can find out in nature, and maybe look at your house, and then they see, oh, there's a triangle for the roof, for example. Um, so that's really it. 
Thank you for joining me today for another Suffolk DIY. And this was a shape scavenger hunt. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.